Yes. And anyone who likes to have sex in the back of a car. What? I think Tom Cruise had something to do with that. You like being dominated, don't you? <laughs> well, based on the wood, I mean, you can taste the heat. You can taste the heat. You can feel the heat. You can <laughs> yeah, taste yeah. the heat. It's a beer for women. It's more like a hard wood than a soft wood. Do you right? usually get burning sensations? Well, in different areas. I love a creamy mouth. If you don't want your wife to know, it's okay. <laughs> there was a goat, and there was a horse, and a barrel involved, and some hay. <laughs> this beer is very sexual. <laughs>Hi everyone. I'm Janet. I'm Jason. We're Gumba Mud. Mud. We're here for a dark beer. And today we have <laughs> Al Smith <laughs> Speedway Stout. Speedway Stout. Yeah, a staple here in San Diego. For sure. For dark beer, Speedway Stout. Yes. Yeah. It's crazy, it's crazy, crazy. For all you NASCAR fans and <laughs> NASCAR. dark beer lovers. And anyone who likes to have sex in the back of a car. What? No? Oh, okay. <laughs> Tell us about the beer, Janet. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Me. Applies to everyone. <laughs> yes. Okay. So a little bit about the brewery. Founded yeah. in 1995 yeah. by Skip Virgilio and Ted Newcomb. One of the one of the big three. Oh yeah. Carl Strauss, Hola. Pizza Port, Ale Smith. Yep. Here in staples, San Diego. Yeah. For staples. Sure. Yeah. So um, Ale Smith Brewing Company is a San Diego San Diego based artisanal craft brewery yeah. specializing in ales that are inspired by European classics. Yeah. In 2015, Al Smith celebrated 20 years, 20 years. in production, which is mind-blowing. Yeah. Uh, they opened, opened a new state-of-the-art brewery in Miramar, and it was called Empire Street. Yes. And they got to rename it Al Smith Court. I think, Tom, I think Tom Cruise had something to do with that, being a Top Gun, Miramar, you know? Yeah. No, I'm joking, no. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> I go, it's, yeah. It's, lear it's literally right across from Miramar, which is famous for the movie Top Gun, where mm -hmm. they, they filmed everything, and that's... But how cool is that? Yeah. Like, if you want to give somebody directions to your brewery, like, hang a left on... If you want to Smith, Court, yeah, take like, Smith Court. <laughs> straight money, I love yeah. it. Yeah. Huge, so. huge facility, brand new, and they're still expanding it. Like, yeah. it's a beautiful place. Exactly. Yeah. So, Al Smith, they have the capability of brewing 100,000 barrels a year. Yeah. They are constantly winning local, international awards. They are just blowing up nonstop and I don't see an end in sight. No, they're 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 probably expanding their capacity now as we're doing this video because exactly. they're so big. They brew some of the best beer in the world and it's crazy how especially us for dark beer we love dark beer that's mm -hmm. all we drink is dark beer they have the best some of the best dark beer ever absolutely in the world always so, always yeah yeah um peter zion took over in 2002 from from the original owners mm -hmm. and once he took over it just it just exploded. Mm -hmm. Like he really concentrated on dark beer. He concentrated on bourbon barrel. He built this great facility uh, in Miramar off of El Smith Court. And it's one of the most, if not the most beautiful It really brewery is. In San Diego. Yeah, I mean, th yeah. besides like the, just the, the facility itself, I mean, it's a great place, uh, destination to have parties, gatherings, reunions, like they can house basically all your needs like anything you yeah. want you want to throw there just give them notice reserve and it's on there's you can have multiple parties because they have yeah. a mezzanine which you can have your own private parties mm -hmm. which it holds i don't know how many people a couple hundred yeah, i think i would think so and then i went to a birthday party in one of the little side rooms mm -hmm. which was next to the uh speakeasy yes that was only like 25 or 30 of us mm -hmm. and, so if and you want something quaint and like uh, somewhat yeah. private yes that's a good right. resource yeah right besides having the outdoor patio where they usually have two food trucks not one two food trucks every night yes um 
and the Tony Gwynn Museum, the Speakeasy, uh, it's just an incredible facility. Like, mm -hmm. like uh, Peter Zion's done just an amazing job yeah. there. He's always there. You you see him around, you get to talk to him, you can have a beer with him. Like, it's crazy. Like, that's, I think they really established in San Diego how to do a brewery. I think so too. Yeah. So between, if you're a baseball fan, you got the Tony Gwynn aspect. Yeah. If you're a beer lover, you've got every kind of beer yes. you could ever want. If you want to host a party, you have that. Like, there's you can't go wrong there. No. Like, you're going to appeal to most everybody. Yeah. And it's going to be a home run. Yeah, and like you said, there's plenty of parking. Yeah. It's easy to park. Yeah. Yeah. You can run down there. It's it's easy to park mm -hmm. and, and just have, have a great time. So, um, they're getting very well known for their bourbon barrels. Um, they do so many bourbon barrel beers, mm -hmm. and especially, this is regular Speedway. This is their base stout, what we're reviewing today. Now they take this base stout and they've probably made, I don't even know, it could be 20 to 50 different variations of Speedway. Yes. So once you get a good base beer, you can do many variations, and I think a lot of breweries um, need to adapt this totally. to their brewery because yes. once you get that good base beer, you can do so Run many variations. With Run with it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And their speakeasy, when you go in their speakeasy, it is all bourbon barrel beer, all dark beer. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever been in there and there's been a light beer, an IPA, anything like that. Yeah. It's just stouts, dark beer, barrel, age. It's amazing. Yes. So, yeah. So, world class barrel aged beers, world class dark beers. Anytime you go in there, there's at least 10 dark beers on tap all the beautiful time. Beautiful thing. It's a beautiful My thing. Friends. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, as I always like to give a, a basic description from Al Smith or the can. Yeah. So, Speedway Stout is an ominous pitch black appearance. Ominous. Ominous. I like the can. Like <laughs> even the dark tab. I love. Yeah. They're the only ones that have the black tab. Yeah, very. On their cans. Yeah. So. Yeah. If yeah, you look guys, at that. Like, ominous. I love it. Yeah, very cool. I love that word, ominous. Uh, and this has become the hallmark yeah. of of Al Smith and Speedway and Stout. Speedway Stout. So you also like again, as I mentioned, you go into to beer stores, retailers. You are swarmed with beer walls. This can does stand it out does, yeah. because of. Uh, the appearance. Yeah, the graphics, everything. Mm -hmm. you, you notice immediately when they have Speedway style yeah, on. Yeah, definitely. So easy to find. Yeah. Uh, the flavors are a chocolate and mm. roasted malt that dominate the flavor. Mm, you like being dominated, don't you? <laughs> right? It's a beer for women. No. <laughs> <laughs> I like being dominated sometimes. Uh, yeah, it's all right. Mm, it's a beer for everyone. Good to yeah. Know. yeah. Take, so, take <laughs> note, supported by notes of dark fruit, toffee, caramel. Ooh, toffee and caramel sound really yeah, good. Yeah, sounds amazing. Yeah. yeah. It has a healthy dose of locally roasted coffee, which... Uh, San Diego has some of the exactly. best roasters yeah, anywhere in the world. Yeah. If, if you are familiar with our, our previous videos, you yeah. know that that's, that's a common... Theme. Uh, uh, collaboration. Yeah, with, throughout breweries in yep. San Diego, yeah. Yes. And they, they add the, the batches of the roasted coffee, which brings out and enhances the dark... Yeah. chocolate flavors and the drinkability so yeah. yeah it's a match made in beer heaven <laughs> yeah so despite its intensity because again it's a 12 percent so yeah brace yourselves right boys and girls uh the it has fine carbonation a creamy mouth feel mm. which who does love it i love a creamy mouth what no <laughs> who no. doesn't right <laughs> How can you not like creamy mouth, Phil? Mm. Yeah. Boy. Yeah. Woo! Yes. This beer is very sexual. It is. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. All the more reason it's winning awards. Yeah, right? exactly. So uh, it's smooth, very easy to drink, ages very well. So if you yes. don't get to it right away, store that shit in the back of your fridge, yeah. hide it behind the lettuce. Yes. If you don't want your wife to know it's okay, <laughs> just stash that shit in the back yeah. and it's good for years to come. So. Yeah, that's one of the things uh, a lot of good brewers, 
you'll, you'll realize is that you can keep a can for a long time mm -hmm. and when you pop it six months, a year, it still tastes good. And, Definitely. And that just goes to show even their barrel aged beers, I think they have adapted that to the regular non-barrel aged beers mm -hmm. that they're brewed so well that they age really well. Yeah, as soon as you pour it, you're gonna see it still has as much carbonation yeah. as if it was just freshly brewed. The lacing's beautiful, the taste is there, if yeah. not more pronounced, like, it's all right on, so don't be deterred by yes. if you're picking up something that has a later date. Cause yeah, and you leave it in the fridge for yeah. for a long time, it's gonna taste amazing. Mm -hmm. And one of the great things about Speedway Stout is it's available year round, yes. all the time, in 16 ounce cans, which uh, we personally love just the 16 ounce cans. Um, you can also get Bombers, 750 milliliters. Mm -hmm. And if you actually go to L. Smith and you have a kegerator at home, Oh yeah. You can get your own kegs. And do keg stands. And do kegs, yeah. And do kegs in your kegerator at home. So <laughs> um, they, they make this beer available constantly. Like I said, they're doing different variations of this all the time, um, especially during and San Diego Beer Week, yes. which is coming up. Um, the beer flights, it's crazy. It's, I think more breweries need to do this is have their staple. When they get their dark beer right, keep it and then make variations yes, of it. Yes, I and, couldn't agree more. And I think they've established that uh, more than any other brewery mm -hmm. in San Diego. Is that's, that's, that's a good way to go. Absolutely. Because you can do so many variations of a great beer and Speedway Stout is mm -hmm. that staple beer. And that's why we wanted to bring this review to you. Yes. Yeah, so um, obviously uh, they've entered so many contests. The Great American Beer Festival in Denver, Colorado, which is the biggest, I think it's the biggest one, especially here in the West. Mm -hmm. It's been around forever and uh, they've won multiple awards. They always win silver, gold constantly. I don't, I don't think they enter it anymore because they always win. Yeah. So everyone knows about Speed Waste Out. So uh, any viewers we have that have never tried it, you're going to love this review. It's, it's just an amazing beer and you just, you know. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Yeah. yeah so. Ready to pop it open? So ready. Yeah. Woo, yes. let's do it. I'm going to let you pour this one. Okay. Big black can. I love the black tab. It's literally the only can I've, I've seen that has the, the whole black top and the black tab and everything, <clears throat> which I love, you know. Oh, nice. Okay, everyone ready? Here, let me hold that for you. Thank you. It's like a really darkish brown color mm -hmm. right definitely more brown than black yeah for 12 percent especially it's, coming out of a straight black can you yeah to see the different yeah the brownness versus the black so yeah that's nice which i like yeah mm -hmm. because you can definitely see the contrast right away um in a black can it came out a, a really dark yeah. dark brown not even caramel it was almost like a mahogany yeah like uh thinking wood yeah <laughs> wood <laughs> yes <laughs> no comment like a cherry wood <laughs> like or a cherry a wood or mahogany wood or a stiff wood <laughs> <laughs> it's more like a hard wood than a soft wood right <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> So appearance, what, what do you say? think? Yeah. Well, based on the wood. Appearance, based on the wood appearance. Like the five. <laughs> um, no, I think um, it it poured beautifully. It did pour lighter than I would expect for a twelve percent, and like you said, the can is black. So you're expecting black to come. So out. So you're expecting more black to come out, and it's a browner color. It's almost like a. Uh, Almost like not a goldish color, a dark gold color, but like you said, it's like a mahogany. Yeah, I don't color, go as dark much. Mahogany. I don't go as much off the color as I do like the thickness and the lacing and the head and like, the bubbles. And it looks it looks very thick and heavy. Yeah, which uh, goes along with a, tw a twelve percent or like twelve. Yeah. you know, you're getting up there. So yeah, for for a non barrel age beer, twelve is. I cannot see through it at all. Right. Yeah. You know, it's 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 dark and heavy. So yeah. I'm going 4.5. 4.5. Yes. I'm gonna go with a four. Okay. Um, I've had I've had 10 to 12 percent beers from other breweries that are extremely dark, and so I was kind of expecting I was expecting something even darker. Yes. 
um, but it's a dark, dark brown. It's a good dark color and obviously Obviously in the snifter, it's really super dark. Mm -hmm. The lacing, I've had thicker lacing in a beer, but the lacing sticks really good. It does has a nice, it has a mild thickness to it. Yeah. Um, so I, I'm gonna give it a four. Okay. It, it looks really good. I almost expect something even thicker. Yeah. Just because we're in San Diego and we have so many breweries here that make such good, thick, dark right. beer that you almost expect it even be darker. Which and I thicker. Can, I can think of others. Others I know. come to mind right away. Right. But it's you know it's yeah it's just a notch below being right a five. A five. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. So I mean it's right there. Yeah. So. Yeah. So what do yeah. you think about aroma? I like it. Okay. Yeah, the lacing still looks good. It it sticks to the glass. It's very slow, you know, to to, to slip down the glass, mm -hmm. and, and the head looks great. So, yeah. Interesting what, aroma. What are you I get like that earthiness. Um, I know it's not barrel age, but I'm getting right. the the oak barrels, the wood barrels. Yeah, very like earthy earthy tones. Which a lot of stouts have. Yes. Right. Um, uh, a, a dark roast coffee. Yeah. And uh, I would say a dark fruit. Fruit again. Mm-hmm. It's amazing how we get these fruits and these dark I beers, know. which I don't really equivalent fruit with dark beer, but yeah. I it's think a, it's in a lot. I really do. Whether you get it on the nose or the taste or the finish, like I think they always kind of make themselves present. What's interesting is I've had this at Ale Smith on draft mm -hmm. and the chocolate comes out more in the draft. Yes. But right now in the can, I'm not getting the chocolate. Mm -hmm. I'm like you, I'm getting more of a, a, a little bit of bitter mm -hmm. and a little bit of fruitiness. Yeah. Which is interesting, but it's not very strong, right? It's not a very strong aroma. Which See, I'm getting like straight, like wood, wood, woodiness, like A little oak, smoky wood, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Right, and then a little fruitiness at the end. And everything else is after that. Yes, yeah, I agree with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but not, it's in, when I've had the draft, it's very chocolatey, and the can, yeah, I'm not getting any chocolate. Like I said, you're getting the wood, the smokiness, yes. and then the fruit at the end, so mm -hmm. what are you giving the, what are you giving the aroma? Uh, I'm gonna give the aroma a four. Okay. I think it smells nice, it smells, um, does it smell creamy? <laughs> it doesn't smell creamy, but <laughs> um, mm. the smells are very distinguishable. Yeah. Like you know, you know, you know what you're smelling. Like yeah. you're not like, what is this? Like, it is what it is. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go with a four. I think I'm gonna give it a three. I'm not getting, I'm not getting much out of it. Um, I, I expect to get a little more chocolate notes mm -hmm. and like you, I'm getting a little smokiness and a little fruitiness, mm -hmm. but that's about it. It's not very strong aroma, which is good. Yeah. It's not, it's not bad. I just wish there was more coffee notes or chocolate notes or something yeah. like that. Yeah. It's heavy on the fruit, really. Heavy on the fruit. Yeah. yeah. The more that, that I, that we wait and yeah. Warms time up. passes. Yeah. Yeah. So why don't you give it a, give it a taste okay. and you know what you think. for a 12% beer. Um, the 12% the, the ABV is very well masked. You're not getting a strong right. alcohol burning sensation, which you would <laughs> you expect with a 12%, Do you right? usually get burning sensations? Well, in different areas. <laughs> No, not usually you're, drinking beer. No, when you're drinking no. alcohol, sometimes in your chest you get like the, uh, in your mouth or your chest you get a burning sensation from the alcohol, the heat okay. of the alcohol, the heat. The heat <laughs> of the alcohol. I'm not getting that. <laughs> Have so. you gotten that from 12 percent before? Uh, yes. Have you? Absolutely. Okay. okay. You can taste the heat, especially you in barrel taste age. Taste the heat. You can taste the heat. You can taste the heat. You can feel the heat. You can <laughs> yeah. taste the heat. Yeah. So a lot, a lot of beers I've had, it's like you strictly taste alcohol. Yeah. And you don't in this, which yeah, twelve percent. You're really climbing right that ABV ladder, yeah. right? So it's very well masked. 
I'm still coming with the strong fruity notes and yeah. this the, the strong like bitterness. There's not a lot of sweetness, yeah. but it's well blended and it's complimentary and I do like it. What do you think? Mm, 12%. Wow, it tastes better than the aroma. Definitely. I'm not getting as much fruit. You're not. See, no. I still taste the, the dark yeah, yeah. fruit. Yeah. I'm not getting as Blend. much fruit. Um, I'm getting a little more of the smokiness. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting the chocolate like I usually do in the draft when we go to L. Smith. Always different. The chocolate's not yeah. coming out, which that could be part of the canning. It's sitting in a can. Um, but... It definitely tastes better than the aroma. The aroma was getting a little more fruitiness, mm -hmm. but everything wasn't strong in the aroma. Um, now I'm getting this great smoky kind of taste and a little bit of the fruit, but not a lot. Mm -hmm. And I get the 12%. It's a good thick viscosity beer. But you're not taking, you're not tasting like straight alcohol. Like it's very well masked mm -hmm. with the other flavors and the, right? Yeah, and the carbonation is good too. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. not getting an alcohol flavor at all. So, mm -hmm. but the fruitiness doesn't come out um, in the taste for me. It does for me. I get, yeah. I get a little bit, but not much. I get the fruitiness and still that yeah. um, that oak uh, wood yeah. barrel. So I know it's not barrel age, but yep. I think maybe it was had something to do with the. <laughs> I think there was a barrel in the. There's a barrel involved. <laughs> There was a goat, and there was a horse, and a barrel involved, and some hay. Don't tell me there was not a barrel in this. I got you, Steve. Anyway, yeah. I taste a barrel. Yeah. So what, would so, you, so what would you give the taste? I like it. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go with a four. Okay. I enjoy it. I think it's yeah. really, really well brewed. Yeah. Again, for a 12%, you're expecting to be smacked in the face with... Yeah. Uh, an, an alcohol astringency or alcohol taste or the alcohol burn i don't get that so yeah um that's just signs right there that this is a well brewed beer by a master brewer Burr, yeah so i like it i'm gonna go with a four four yeah mm -hmm. i'm gonna give it a four too um it definitely for me taste and and uh finishes and the and the body texture, everything is different than the aroma. The aroma, I wasn't getting much. Mm -hmm. It was just kind of middle of the road. Yeah. Like I said, I think I give the aroma 3.5. It it has a great taste to it. The body's great. Um, the carbonation is well balanced. It's just a well balanced beer. Mm -hmm. um, I think so too. Yeah, so I'll give it a four. I really like this beer. It tastes really good. It's amazing. It's a little different than the draft when you get there at Ellsmith, which has more chocolate notes mm -hmm. to it, which I guess, depending on how long this can was 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 sitting, yeah, um, could have dissipated a little bit, the chocolate notes, but sure. it still has that kind of nice smoky, chocolate bitter, but the bitter's like very subtle. So, yeah. That's a great point. So I think what he just described, like if you are kind of on the fence about a beer, Go, you've bought it in the store. It's been canned since who knows when. You can always check the bottom. The can date is always stamped on the bottom right. of every beer. But if you're like not sure or you kind of like it, go in, check their website, find out when they have it on draft, yeah. and find out for yourself in the flesh. Like, yeah. it's a totally different experience, right? Yeah, it can be, yes. And mm -hmm. obviously you can get a growler or a crowler too yeah, of a fresh it. brewed draft and it'll taste different than a can. Yep. Um, but it's still it's still great. It's still amazing beer. We both give it four. So mm -hmm. what do you think about uh, the, the texture? I would give the texture a five. I think it's spot on for being a 12%. It's, it's super thick um, from the pour to the taste. Yeah. It's creamy. Uh, it leaves a cream, a creamy, nice uh, mouthfeel. Yeah. And I think it's a five. Yeah. What about you? Yeah, I gave it a four. Um, it's it's right there. I think it'd be a little thicker, but it's mm -hmm. it's right there. So um, the lacing could cling to the glass just a little more. I think it's great, but we've had some that don't move. Yeah. Like we've gone through a whole review and it doesn't move That's true. it doesn't move at all right. so but it has great lacing has great carbonation the thickness is right on for a 12 percent non-barrel aged beer 
it's 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 pretty spot on so yeah i give it a I four so i think i think it's really good i think it could be tweaked just a little but i mean it's such a great beer so yeah yeah so what do you think about the finish okay the finish is as i'm almost done with mine i know and i'm <laughs> nearing the end it's just it's a super drinkable beer if uh if you're new you're new to dark beers you want to try something new like it is an easy drinker especially for 12 percent. yes this is a heavy heavy beer yeah so i mean we we go down to i don't think we dip below six i don't think there's anything below six i think we've had one 5.5 all right but most of the time, no. So a 5.5 yeah. 5 up to 12 and beyond, <laughs> yeah. like it's a huge range. Like yeah. this is spot on for 12%. Yeah. It's a masterpiece. It's an award winner, as we've mentioned yeah. earlier in the review. Like it's their primary recipe for every variation not, not for every variation but for most of their dark beer variations yes. like yeah they start with this so it you know that speaks volumes yeah i love it i always have loved it i <laughs> love going to l smith yeah um it's always it's great people and a great environment and yeah it's a great place so yeah so finish what do you give it i give it a 4.5 4.5 yes I'm gonna go with a four. Okay. It it finishes a little bitter. Mm -hmm. I still get the fruitiness in it, which I like sweet beers. Mm -hmm. I like beers that finish sweet. But I do love this beer, and I actually, when I've had this uh, beer at Draft at L Smith, it has more chocolate yes. in it, which and it finishes sweeter. So obviously they're brewing this beer all the time, mm -hmm. and they can have a little variation in it, not much, but a little bit. But it finishes just a little fruity. For this batch. For this batch yes. and this can that we're reviewing right now. Mm -hmm. But overall, yeah, I, I'll, I, I give it a four. It finishes very well. It doesn't leave any kind of weird residue or fruity residue, even though it has a fruity finish yes. to it. It doesn't leave yeah. that fruity residue in my mouth. Mm -hmm. And I'm almost finished mine. Like I just keep <laughs> drinking it. That's how good it is. So even though, you know, my score is a little lower, it's just a great beer and yes. I'm probably basing a lot of this review off the draft that I have where I've gone in there before and it's so chocolatey. I, I, I'm like, can't believe how chocolatey it is. So depending on the batch, yeah, what happens. But as, as we're doing this review, I'm getting more fruitiness than chocolate mm -hmm. out of it. So I give it a four. It's still just an amazing beer. And I love this beer. It finishes so well. So mm -hmm. I give it a four for a finish. So what do you give for a total, Jen? My overall score for Ale Smith's Be Waste Out is a 4.4. Okay. Um, I enjoyed this beer. Um, I have had it on draft also at Ale Smith. And it was a little, you know, it's quite a bit different uh, on draft as it is can. So, you know, maybe something to do with the canning process or what have you. But Aging process. Something yeah. Like that. Yeah. yeah, but I still enjoy it. Yeah. I would recommend it. Again, they've won, you know, mad awards. Their resume, their accolades are we love over the Smith. top. Yeah. So, um, you know, I think it's worth trying, and I will definitely be back to Al Smith for <laughs> oh, yeah. this or anything they are offering in the future. And what about you? Yeah, I gave it a 3.7. Um, I've had the draft. I've had the draft for years. And the draft just seems to be better to me. Mm -hmm. um, it's more chocolatey, it's sweeter, and I'm not getting that in this can. I'm getting more of the, like, the ending fruit yeah. and that kind of, probably the bitter chocolate, which could just be the aging process. But, right. but I mean, they're, Peter Zion and everyone else, Smith, are master brewers. For sure. And anytime you go in there, the beer, to me, tastes better than I've ever had it in a can. It always just tastes amazing. Mm -hmm. So for this batch, not all batches, but obviously for this batch that we have, I gave it a 3.7 just because it's a little more bitter and a little more fruity than what I'm used to when I go yes. in there and get the draft and it's chocolatey. Mm -hmm. And that's probably why when I go in and I get it, it's so chocolatey, I'm always surprised at how much chocolate is in it. So Right. Yeah. So um, Gumbo Mud Review is a four point. Oh, um, we love this beer. We love L Smith. I love all the variations that Speedway does. They do uh, Hawaiian coffee 
That's probably my favorite. Yes. Yes. And I have not had that, but you've told me about it. Yeah, it's not barrel aged. They do a barrel aged version, but they, they'll do Hawaiian coffee. They do a Vietnamese coffee. They do so many variations mm -hmm. that they don't can. So look forward to us getting yes. getting growlers and crowlers of those variations and giving you reviews of them. Because um, a Vietnamese coffee from a Hawaiian, from a, a uh, Sumatran coffee it varies a lot so depending on your palate this beer as a base is just perfect for all those variations that that you could love or or get yeah. little tweaks to so yeah I can imagine that yeah, yeah. no it's a great base yeah for sure yeah and and the draft obviously tastes a little different than the can or this batch that we've done but it's still just amazing beer like I'm almost done with mine and I give it I give it 3.7 I'm still like I love this beer I think that's the case for most beers like yeah. it's very rare to capture the taste upon brewing versus canning and, yes. and sitting for any length of time right like I, I just you know I would think that's a natural yeah um yeah, it's just natural occurrence. process and natural yeah. occurrence and right. process. Yeah, definitely. That happens. So um, this is our review of, of Speedway Stout. Uh, try this beer. Get get the cans. They're always brewing it. It's brewed year round. So depending on when it's released, you never know. You know, you could get yeah. more chocolate, you can get more bitter, you can get more fruit, you can get always a lot check of the date. If you're looking for something that's like fresh out right. there, always lift up your can, right. check the bottom, it will tell you when it was canned right. and scoop it up if you see something that's fresh. Because exactly. you're gonna capture the most accurate flavors from right. L Smith. And the most recent brew. Yes. And if you go to L Smith, they actually have a little merchandise. Um, they got a nice size shop. Nice size shop right mm -hmm. there when you first walk in and they have a cooler that you can actually buy the cans mm -hmm. of what's most recently been brewed. So um, you can get in bombers, you can get it in cans, and if you want kegs, yeah. you can get that too. So And all sorts of gear. They've got cool oh, hoodies, yeah. t-shirts, you know, yeah. you name it. They've got everything. It's just a great place to yes. go. So um, go to L. Smith, try this beer, let us know what you think. Um, Click the like button if you like. Uh, subscribe. Uh, tell us what you think about this beer. You know, give us comments. Let us know what you think. And thank you so much for watching. Yeah, we'll see you guys soon. All dark beers, all, all the, time. the time. Right. Bye, guys. Bye. See thank you next you. time.